Hello and well, hello and welcome to the Topic Master Series presented by Edu Kingdom College. In this video, we'll be looking at reading the clock. There are two types of clocks: analog clocks and digital clock. In an analog clock, the thin hand is the second hand, the longer hand is the minute hand, and the shorter hand is the hour hand. In a digital clock, the number on the left tells us the hour, and the number on the right tells us the minutes. Looking at the minute hand, the longer hand, when it's pointing at twelve, it will be o'clock, and when it's pointing at six, it will be half past. When we're trying to figure out o'clock, we need to consider what number is the long hand pointing to, and what number the short hand is pointing to. Then figuring out what is the time. It can only be o'clock when the minute hand is pointing to the number twelve. Let's try matching these times together. The first clock on the left, the minute hand is pointing at twelve, so it will be o'clock. Then the hour hand is pointing at five, so it will match with five o'clock. The second clock, the minute hand is pointing to twelve as well, so it will be o'clock as well. Then the hour hand is pointing at three, so it will be three o'clock. The last clock, the minute hand is pointing at twelve, the hour hand is pointing at four. So it will be four o'clock. When we're trying to figure out half past, we also need to consider what number the long hand and short hand is pointing to. Hence, finding out what is the time. It is only half past if the minute hand is pointing to the number six. The hour hand will be halfway between two numbers. The hour for half past will always be the number it is moving away from. Let's try matching these clock using half pass. The first clock, the minute hand is pointing to six, so it'll be half pass. Then the hour hand is pointing between four and five. Since it will be always be the number that is moving away from, it's going to be half pass four. The second clock, the minute hand is pointing at six as well, so it will be half pass. Then the hour hand is pointing from nine to ten. So the time would be half past nine. The last clock on the right, the minute hand is pointing to six, and the hour hand is between twelve and one. Since it's moving away from twelve, it will be half past twelve. Aside from o'clock and half past, there is also quarter past and quarter two. Quarter is a fourth of the clock, and when the minute hand is pointing at three, it will be quarter past. And when the minute hand is pointing to nine, it'll be quarter two. For quarter past, the long hand must be pointing to the number three. The shorter hand will be pointing to the hour. The time will be quarter past the hour. For example, the clock on the left here, the minute hand is pointing to three, and the hour hand is pointing to twelve. Therefore, the time will be quarter past twelve. For the clock on the right. The minute hand is pointing at three, and the hour hand is pointing at nine, so it'll be quarter past nine. Similarly, for quarter two, the long hand must be pointing to the number nine. You will notice the hour hand is going to be between two numbers. The hour must be the number it is moving towards, like this clock on the left here. The hour hand is between seven and eight. Since it's moving towards eight, the hour would be eight. Hence, the time here will be quarter to eight. Let's try some questions. The first one on the left, the minute hand is at nine, therefore going to be quarter two, and the hour hand is between eleven and twelve. Since it's moving towards twelve, the time would be quarter to twelve. The clock in the middle. The minute hand is at nine, and the clock is move. The hour hand and the clock is moving to six. Therefore, the time is quarter to six. The last clock on the right. Give it a try first. But the answer will be quarter to one, with the minute hand pointing at nine, and the hour hand moving towards one. In summary. Any time when the minute hand is moving from six from twelve to six, we use pass, 
and when the hour hand is moving from 6 to 12, we use 2. When the minute hand is pointing to 12, it will be o'clock. When it's pointing at 6, it will be half past. When it's pointing to 3, it will be quarter past. And when it's pointing to 9, it will be quarter to. That is all for this video. Discover more English and maths content by exploring our channel.